John Lewis is the company that I have decided to research on for their CSR program. And the reason for this is because I believe it's a very environmental and very community-based business institution, if you'd like to call it that. Now, John Lewis is one is the UK's largest multi-channel retailers. It has around 49 stores around the UK and it's known as the John Lewis Partnership. Now, the reason why it's known as John Lewis Partnership, I will go into detail in a minute, but basically... It also has parent ownership to Waitrose supermarkets. Now, John Lewis is now known and is a part of a limited company with profits held in trust for employees. John Lewis was originally opened in 1864 by John Lewis himself. And alongside him were his two sons, John Spedan Lewis and Oswald Lewis. Being the eldest, John Spedan was to take over the business as he had more in mind. And the more that he had in mind was not for just about the benefits of the business. Well, it was because this was a very beneficial decision, but it was also the benefits for his staff members and for the employees that are there and what they bring to the company and what the company gives back to them. Obviously, a salary is more than good enough for any company, but what more could they possibly want? Now, he has a saying, and one of his sayings, in, well, quotes, were, because the partnership is owned by its members, they share the responsibility of ownership as well as its rewards, profits, knowledge and power. Let me get into that. By him saying that, initiated his whole idea of what could be done to make the business better and how to help his employees out and give back to them he wanted the profits of the business to be beneficial not only to the business but to his employees too so as soon as he thought of something like this he put his idea into actions and then founded the john lewis partnership any man or anyone in general actually if they were in if they were given a business by their you know family members they'd want to make their family members proud and make them happy but he thought of even more than that. He not only wanted to make his dad happy, but he also wanted to make his staff members happy. What could he bring to the business that would be good to them? You know, putting into putting his idea into action was one of the best ideas he he may had done because he had he, he had founded the John Lewis partnership. And not only did he want it to come back to his employees, but he also wanted good for the business. So the business initially ran in a commercial market and it was protected legally by constitution. Employees, all employees of John Lewis became partners or shareholders perhaps and they were in charge of the business too. So being a shareholder or partner to a business has a lot of perks and it also has a lot of benefits and that will be obviously the shares that you receive, the any other benefits that you may get any other perks, any other gifts, etc. But it also comes with its challenges and problems. And what I mean by that is you just receiving money doesn't mean you're just receiving it for doing nothing. No, 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 no. So any partner you are, if you're a partner of John Lewis, you have to put your all in it as well. So John Lewis are putting their all into you by giving you money, giving their partners money, I mean. Now, as being their partner or shareholder, what are you doing to help the business? So it's also a way to, it's also a way for them to work harder and think of ways how they can make the, the business better. They have to tackle any complications and any challenges that are handed to them so John Lewis is known as the employee owned group so there's many sides to it there's an ethical side there's a philanthropic side there's a economical side and there's a legal side but I think all of these all of them or 
become one and they all merge into one and they all relate to one. Now, if you look at the econ economical side of John Lewis, prof it, well, if you look at the economical side of any business, really, profit is very, ex very important in a business. Why is why is profit important as business? Because that's what helps your business grow, what helps it succeed, what helps it make, what makes it better. Now, in with John Lewis, they thought outside of the box. Not only do they provide goods and services to their customers, but they also receive profit in return. Now, what I mean by why did they think outside of the box for this is because when they receive this profit they make sure to distribute it in the correct way to all the pe all the different parts that deserve it so all the suppliers tax they make sure not to avoid that um you know the the money to different employees and all of that but on top of everything and all the liabilities they may pay for and any bills they may pay for and anything else they also make sure to add in partnership bonuses now over the years it has rapidly decreased and the reason for that is because the economy is like a yo-yo it goes up and it goes down so with the amount of money that they are receiving and the amount of debt that any like any company gets into it so any debt that debts they may have to pay for any liabilities that they may have to pay for has resulted in making their bonuses smaller and decrease the size of it which is bad because they're not really you know giving what they can to their partners but at the same time they do make sure to be on point with every payment that they have and they try to comply with national minimum wage regulations make sure to hand out any payments to any each individual employee and also make sure that is the correct amount now when it comes to paying these partners or shareholders there is a fair and consistent approach now this fair and consistent approach is each partner has an annual pay review now the annual pay review is basically a review of over the year how hard you as an individual have worked what you have done the amount of hours you put in the amount of efforts that you put in what how you've helped the company and they reflect that onto your pay so depending on how hard you've worked is how much mo extra money you're going to be getting which makes it a fair and consistent concept because every year they're doing that and it's determining whether this person deserves that amount of money or does that person deserve more money or just different things like that it's just to help be fair but also give the individual what they deserve because if you're putting in all your work and you're not getting the money for it it makes it unfair and the whole concept of what John Spedden had in his mind is going out the window it's not what he wanted he was about being fair that is why the John Lewis partnership had started in the first place now they every year they have an annual report regardless of the company on the website displaying what they've made what they've lost how they can make it better what they're doing for the community and like I said at the beginning of this video, that John Lewis is a very community-based company. They care about, they give to charity in many different ways. And in some ways, they do this by networking. They network, they have expanded their company's diversity and have networked to different types of organisations and charities. One being the LGBT, another one being Faith and Belief another one being unity another one being 10 it's all for you know the different minorities and the different charities and around the country and all of that around the world what really they're all about giving back to the community obviously every business wants to take but john lewis give back that is one thing 
that is quite clear about their whole company and everything about it. Now, they have invested around 12 million pounds in community organisations. They have over 3,000 schools nurseries and children groups registered with the John Lewis flagship education program they even have an education program for John Lewis and they work the the what it is is they work in partnership with Bernardo's which is another charity so they're all about giving back to the community I mean they work with three to eleven year olds and it helps to nurture the children. It helps them become creative and innovative. It helps them develop develop different skills. You know, involve themselves in problem so solving and all the different things. That is a part of what they do. They are helping the younger generation as well as the oldest generation in many ways. I mean, being a part of charities and networking with different organizations and charities is such a good thing for your business because it helps expose your brand name not that John Lewis would need it but it helps them expose your brand name in a positive way and not only that but you are giving back as well as receiving and it is evident that John Lewis see what they are providing for all the different staff members out there and they see what they are doing for their different staff members out there and they are acknowledging each and every staff member in that place and under acknowledging their hard work and they're doing this by allowing them to be partners no company would allow any random person to be a partner but John Lewis believes in their employees and they believe that they can be good partners and good shareholders and bring good to the business and make the business be good I mean like they're all about even helping the environment like in some of the Waitrose stores they have reduced their re refrigeration em emissions by 17.5 percent which is amazing and they continue to do so about 91,000 employees or partners have received a bonus of 10 percent which is equivalent to their five-week pay. So you're receiving an extra bonus, which is also equivalent to your about one month and a week pay, which is amazing, which is so good. I mean, there's many people out there that ha have come to work at John Lewis and they're not the riches of riches or they're struggling, but this extra money could help them go a long way and this is also a setup for them in their lives because they'll know that no matter what they have shares in John Lewis and John Lewis is an ongoing upcoming company they're opening a new comp they're opening a new department store in Westfield and that is going to make Westfield White City be one of the largest largest shopping centers in the whole of Europe that's crazy i mean John Lewis benefits the community in so many different ways and also make sure to stick to the legal parts and legal requirements of a business without exceeding that and realizing okay we can't do this we can't do that I mean there is a lot of criticisms to John Lewis and its partnership and on and its problems I mean there's a lot of criticisms like why are they reducing their bonuses for each of their employees why how are they making more money why are they making employees partners i mean they have millions of comp they have a million millions of competition around them i mean john lewis is not the only department store in the uk there's many department stores that have competition like harrods harrods is the only department store in the uk in the whole of the world I mean, there's Selfridges, there's House of Fraser, there's Debenhams, but all these different department places, even Harvey Nichols, all these different department stores are not like John Lewis. They are not community-based. 
they are they keep it to themselves they don't even share it with their employees but John Lewis do that John Lewis give all their employees the opportunity to become better and to expand their knowledge and power and give them that knowledge and give them that power it's just it's a really really good concept and I think that with being a part of John Lewis you will benefit in many many ways in a numerous ways I mean not only are you helping out the community and being charitable but you're also you know understanding and acknowledging the hard work that you've put in because you're seeing that in your pay you're seeing that in how much you're getting back you and then it motivates the individual to work harder and to help the business expand there's so many benefits to this program that they have introduced and there's so many benefits to them helping out different companies and different organizations and different charities because it gets their brand well known but also shows that they're giving back to the community and makes these different charities and organizations understand the type of company that John Lewis is. John Lewis will continuously make money but will always make sure to give back not only to the community but to their own personal community that work for them and that is very important in a business. It's very important in a business to acknowledge how hard your staff members are working and also acknowledge, okay, I'm making this amount of money, how much money can I spare to contribute to this, to contribute to that? And that is exactly what John Lewis has done. And I think they should continue with their John Lewis programs and their supporting for different schools and nurseries and just so much more and keep expanding.